The following is a special presentation of Sunshine Network. Greetings and welcome to a brand new series on Sunshine Network, Under the Lights. It's your backstage all-access pass to the personalities and programs that make up the fabric of sports in the state of Florida. I'm Whit Watson. We start with a true coaching legend, Howard Schnellenberger. 20 years ago, Coach Schnellenberger brought the University of Miami football program back from the brink of extinction. And 20 years later, he's still in the business of resurrection. This time, building a football program from scratch at Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton. Clearly, Coach Schnellenberger has a vision, one that's shared by members of the FAU football family. Tonight, Coach Howard Schnellenberger, under the lights. I found over the years that I've been in football that the one thing the head coach has to do is have vision. He has to have a dream. He has to believe it down to the core of his shoes. But not just have it, you have to enunciate it. And you have to shout it from the mountaintops. And you gotta write it, have it written in the paper. That means walking out on a limb. And believe me, as a wise man said, the fruit is on the end of the branches. In this business here, you know, you're you're 365 days, most of your most of the time of your day is football and recruiting. If it's not, you know, game planning, if it's not looking at film uh, at other at other other teams that we're playing, then we're looking at prospects on film. So, you know, our whole life is consumed with getting this thing done. It's not like, you know, it's not like part of my life, you know. It's my whole life. It's his whole life. He doesn't play golf. He plays a teeny bit of tennis. We walk on the beach. Um, we ride our bicycles. But other than football, that's it. He, uh, it's his, it's his vocation, it's his job, it's his recreation. And it's his bread and bread and butter. <laughs> he's sort of the founding father of college football down here. I mean, he's the one that made Miami into what it is now. And then he comes to FAU, and initially he didn't get much attention up here because, you know, it's far. It's an hour away, and everybody didn't really think anything of it. But over the past two years, as they've progressed, and now they're going to 1A, a lot of people down south are noticing and saying, "Oh, that's where coach is now." There were certain things that looked like they were kind of pie in the sky ideas. Uh, 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 Coach Schnellenberger certainly uh, aimed for the sky and uh, um, aimed high, tried to uh, see what would uh, what would go on with it. And I think there were a lot of people that were a little skeptical at that point. Uh, uh, but here we are, uh, you know, I guess six years later after Coach Schnellenberger was hired as director of football operations here, and most of the things that he's predicted uh, have either come true or uh, are getting getting pretty close to uh, to happening. It looks like the groundwork that's been laid here by Coach and everybody else that's been working here is uh, incredibly detailed. They've left uh, so many FAU grads energized out in the community. And it's my job to be out in the community and meeting with them, so it's an upper every day. People are really excited. Since we've had this magnificent season of 11 and 3, you've qualified for the uh, playoffs, uh, set records uh, in every phase of our development that probably will not be broken. Uh, the high school coaches, uh, the real hardcore fans throughout the state now have recognized uh, the uh, superior job that's been done here by these kids. When we did a charity event two weeks ago and we ran um, to each campus. You'd be amazed how many people drive by and, and blow their horns and wave and just give you encouragement. We were running those miles when, uh, let's say, if we did it two or three years ago, people would probably have been like, FAU, what does that stand for? You know, what's that? People would be curious, you know, what high school has a, a U at the end of it. From day one here to now, to this point, I could I say this has been my greatest accomplishment as a person. Uh, just what we've done here, like in a short amount of time, nobody, I don't think anybody will ever be able to even compare to what we've done. We knew we were in a great recruiting area. Um, 
with where football is very important. So we were, we were happy, knew we could get good players. And as our reputation built, that we could keep getting better and better players. So, you know, we feel we're right on track. And uh, with this past season, put us on the timeline that we expected to be on. There, there are no regrets. If I had to do it all over again, I'd still come there for you because it was all true. It, I think that's what it's about when we wrote the vision, wrote down what we want to do, and we set our mind focus to it. And just to see that we've achieved it, it meant so much to me. There's nothing like there's times when we, that, night, that day when we were in the locker room and they announced it on ESPN when it came out that we made it to the playoffs. And we were in our third year. I was like, wow. It, it, it's, you believe it, but it's a whole other thing when you see it happening. It's really happening. It's like it's just hard to believe. And I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. If you look at a Florida State University or look at a University of Miami, you will notice that it is always darkest before the dawn and that what it oftentimes took was to bring along an individual who could dedicate himself to making sure that the program went to the next level. And that's why I am convinced you find the right program builder and Howard Schnellenberger is such a program builder. Not only will you have quick success as we saw at Florida State, as we see at University of Miami and we're now seeing at uh, FAU, but you will have sustained success. Yes, you'll win some and you'll lose some, you'll go to championships and some years you won't, but you'll see a consistent level of excellence that runs through a program that a great coach brings to that program. Here at FAU, we're very fortunate that Coach Schnellenberger has created that commitment to excellence. But I'm convinced, long after Howard Schnellenberger leaves, the success of this program will continue on. I've often thought, it's not fair to Howard, if he had stayed at Miami and had not left, how many national championships would he have led that team to? And, who, and he might have been the greatest college football coach that ever lived. I'm talking about in the record books, not just thought. He's an excellent football coach. Even at the age of 70, Coach Howard Schnellenberger shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, he almost bristles at the suggestion that maybe he should think about retiring, enjoying some of the benefits of living in South Florida. No, he thinks that his place is on a football field coaching those who believe in his vision for Florida Atlantic University. My tank is as full as it's ever been. There is no such thing as a half tank or a quarter tank or anything like that. You're always being replenished, restored. We don't think of age. We never talk about age. We never say, oh, I'm old. We never say, oh, I'm tired or, uh, you know, help me up the steps or anything like that. He runs up and down the field, so do I. You know, we're ready to rock and roll at all times. I'm more as passionate or, or as interested or as upbeat as, uh, as I've always been. And uh, I'm hopeful that that'll stop when they put me in the box and close the lid. Thanks for joining us for Under the Lights. I'm Whit Watson. For all of us at Sunshine Network, good night.